Everybody, welcome back to Final Resonance TV and How to Play the Guitar 101, episode number three, lesson number three. Today we're going to learn scales. Doesn't that sound like so much fun? I know back when you were in, you know, grade school, all you heard was... Right? And yes, you have to learn that. <laughs> it's, it seems trivial, but it's actually the language of music. It's like the ABCs of all music. You have to learn it and understand how to apply it to not only write your own music, but to uh, to listen to other music and learn it by ear, or to even apply what you learn on a guitar to another instrument. So it's a very important part of music. People sometimes say, boy, he or she can make that instrument talk. And that just means they have a vocabulary of, of licks or uh, some skill that they have learned through these scales to express themselves. So it's so important to do this. So let's start out with the simplest scale of all, the C major scale. I'm going to show you it in a shape form. When I say shape form, that means that your fingers kind of stay in the same shape as you play the notes and it helps you remember uh, where you are on the fretboard and where the scale goes. And then you can move it around to any fret and it becomes a different major scale. So it's a movable scale. Once you learn these eight notes, you can move them around and to different major scales and learn a lot of these different scales just by simply moving the shape around. So here's the shape, okay? It starts on the fifth string on the third fret. And then it goes to the fifth string, or I'm sorry, fifth fret on the fifth string. And the seventh fret on the fifth string. So it's three, five, seven is how I think of it in terms of frets, okay? And you keep that same shape and go up a string. Three, five, seven, right? And at the end, you do four, five on the third string, okay? So that's the major scale. Notice I'm alternate picking with my right hand. Sorry. Make sure you alternate. Make it a lot faster, okay? So that's the major scale, so learn that. Now, I said you could move it, right? If you move it up to, from the C note to the D note, and keep the same shape, you're gonna be doing the D major scale. And now you can move that all over that fifth string and play every major scale all the way up and down the neck. So say you wanna do F sharp major, right? Here's E. F, F sharp, right? Up and down, right? So that's a movable major scale shape. There is another major scale shape that a lot of people teach off the very beginning, but I would stay with the three, five, seven, or that shape, three, five, seven, three, five, seven, four, five, to start with. The old school version of that is this. Two, I always do two, four. It's two, four, one, two, four. One, three, four. That's the older way to do it. I, I consider it the old school way. Or, the difference is that it's a bigger stretch if you do it in the three, five, seven shape. So if you have a hard time doing that because of the stretch, you might want to go. And then go backwards. Okay, if you do it the other way. And then backwards. So that's your major scale. Now, we're going to move on to the minor scale. Um, the minor scale is a different shape. Okay, and we're going to learn that in its A minor position, which is on the fifth fret. Okay, and we're going to go up like this. One, three, four. One, three, four. One, three, okay? So one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three. That's actually just the shape, again, not the notes. And why we want to learn that shape is so we can move it around, right? I said just like with the major scale. Now we're going to move up to the B note. And we just played the A minor and the B minor together, right? You can just move it around. Now, F minor or G minor. 
A minor. So now that scale can move anywhere on the neck. Again, starting to always start on the fifth fret for reference. And the shape again is one, three, four, one, three, four, one, three. And then go backwards. And that is the A minor scale. So try that one, learn that one. And then uh, we're going to show you the second octave, that third octave, that later. All right, the minor pentatonic scale, A minor pentatonic, starts on the A note again on the fifth fret, sixth string, lowest string. And the difference here is we're going to again do shapes, right? But it's a different shape. So you go one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. Okay, one, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four, and then down. And that is the A minor pentatonic. And you can kind of hear how that would fit into some blues or rock stuff. I just did the, the uh, actual blues scale version of that. You can add that variation. But again, just stay simple at first. And learn that one, okay? And then you can move that around, just like I did with the other ones. You can do it on the seventh fret. But just remember the, sh the shape. One, four, one, three, one, three, one, three, one, four, one, four. Once you learn those shapes, you've learned three different scales you can play all over the neck, and you have made a huge advance in your knowledge of music. So do that. And get back to me on lesson number four, and we'll start to apply that a little bit more and move it around a little bit more and show you multiple octave scales and how to go up the neck with those same scales and how to connect all that together. All right. See you next lesson.